All right, Dylan. Hey, much better this time. Still would like for that little bit of a twist with your left leg to be about half as much. And when you stride out there, instead of letting your, you know, striding out and your legs being completely straight as you stride out, you know, you don't have to. And this is this is a, a big contrast from last weekend. This is the old swing. You'll see right off bat. It's a pretty nice load, like I said last week. Getting that arm to extend out there, it needs to be more of a pop, like I showed you last time, the example. I'll give you another example at the end of this. I'll go back and look at yours from last week. And then you'll see this week's, and then I'll give you an example of somebody that's a little bit more advanced. Like when you really, when you make contact and you let the air go out of your lungs, just imagine that like right here you're going to push, instead of your hands going towards the third base dugout, they're going right towards the pitcher. Now you, the only way for you to perfect that is just imagine that your hands are going to travel in a straight line. That's much better. This particular swing I do remember, but it's still a little bit more like a gate swinging. And I don't mean that to be derogatory, but I want your your hands, your fists to go like you're punching straight to the pitcher. Here again, this kind of goes around like you, around your belly right there. So it needs to go straight towards the pitcher. Okay. And now it's a little better than it was last week, but I want you to I want you to look at this particular approach that Steven is doing. He's left-handed, obviously. When he drops that heel down right there, the left knee goes right under him. And see him push through the ball? His hands go right to the pitcher. That's what I want you doing. Now, when you when my hand's back there, that's when you need to start your your menu, your uh, more or less dance towards the pitcher. That's when you start your load right now and th and that's usually on the first one guys are a little bit tardy and which you were and I really would like to see you twist that leg a little less you don't have to go quite that far this angle is just to help you to get your timing and work on your timing now you start and then when you stride out there keep your toe think about this when you stride out and here we're talking, you know, when you stride out, stay more on your toe. And then when your heel hits the ground, that's when your right knee comes under you very quickly. And then you explode through the ball. You've got to practice these motor skills over and over. Don't be afraid to do a hundred a night. The toe, heel, and then that left, right leg goes right underneath you. Very nice, very nice. See, when you slow it down, you can see it. You're doing much better, buddy. And I'll see you, uh, see you next time, all right?